Hello, know me already as Pastor George. I'm here to give you a little tutorial on inversions and how we use them. This has been very helpful to me, so I don't want to have it alone. I want to share it with you. What is inversions in the first place? When two or more notes are played simultaneously to form a harmonic block, then we are getting a chord. You see? And when notes of a chord are played one after the other, that is an arpeggio. A chord has a root, a third, and a fifth. A root, third, and a fifth. In so first, a do, a mi, and a so. And the full chord will, for instance, have a root, third, fifth, and an octave. Root, third, fifth, and an octave. Do, mi, so, do for a chord. Okay, assuming I have a chord like C. Do, mi, do, mi, so, do. Do, mi, so, do. If I decide to start from other notes, apart from the root, that's an inversion. Okay, so I can start from Mi, mi, so, do, mi. Mi, so, do, mi. It's an inversion and it's the first inversion. And if I start from so do mi, so do mi, the second inversion. So if I have C, E, J, C, C, E, J, C, it's the first chord, and I want the first inversion, then I have to start from the next, which is E, J, C, back to E. And the third inversion is what? J, C, E to J. It's so simple. It's this simple. Starting from a different note, apart from the root of the chord, it's an inversion. There's something interesting about inversions. If there are four notes in a chord, then we will certainly have three inversions. If there are only three notes, we are going to have two inversions. We have first and second. If there are five notes in a chord, then we are going to have four inversions. We are going to have first inversion, second inversion, third inversion, and fourth inversion. But we are not, I'm not going to go deeper into this. I just want to show you how you can simply use an inversion in your everyday song. So assuming I have a song like this. Mm -hmm, because he lives. See. Just playing only this shape becomes so boring. So I would want to maybe use an inversion. So assuming I'm at C on this shape, C at A. And I want to create inversions for this. The notes in this are do me, so do me, do so do me. This note here is a me, and I can have the same note here. So instead of playing this note in the bo at the bottom, I can play it on top. And then rearrange my fingers so I can have instead of this, I can have the same thing. So, so this is C, this is C, an inversion. So, what do I want you to learn from inversions? C, then you play this as an inversion. But the transition should be smooth. So because he lives, because he lives, to get this. It's simple. And a lot of great musicians use this technique. A typical example is uh, the guitar hero Jimmy, uh, Jimi Hendrix. In his song, Hey Joe, why he used Cycle of Thieves?
C K D A and then E. is G. The fifth chord of G is D. The fifth chord of D is A. The fifth chord of A is E. C G D A E. And then he is adding inversions to make it very rich. So C to G. Then on the G2 you have to play it in version. So this is one, two, three, four. This four is the same note here. So so I'll play instead of this I can play this. So so then D So C D inversion to E. Amen. Zingre. Can I play the invention? I'll come and give you the minor too. How sweet the sound I made in gray. How sweet the sound. And Pastor George, if you are looking for further studies. Hey, pick the numbers on the screen. Give me a call and let's do it. In case you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Leave your comment and share this beautiful video to others. This is part one of Inversions. I'll bring you part two very soon.